According to the survey, 45% of working women between the ages of 25 and 45 will be unmarried, childless, or single by 2030. So what's wrong with that, you could ask? Okay. If you think that when you are 45 years old, single, without children, and truly happy in your life because you made money, then good luck to you honey, but it doesn't work that way. By 2030, more than half of women between the ages of 25 and 44 who are of marriageable age will live single lives the remainder of their lives. They will be childless and unmarried at those ages in 2030, which is a fairly high incline. They are so certain in this, in fact, that they studied Morgan Stanley so that their investors would know what to invest in over the following 10 years, so they could invest in both wine and cash. We have experienced bingos like these before, and society tells us that we would regret not having children at the end of our lives because having children brings so much happiness and blessings. I came across this article written by Sarah Burdick, a 16-year nurse who had a heart-to-heart -heart with her senior patients and who also found out from them that their own family see them as a burden. There are now the top five things that people regret most when they die. Even in traditionally conservative countries, the quality of relationships has gotten so bad that people no longer marry and live together for the rest of their lives. One of the highest rates of cheating in the world is in Thailand. We're just letting you know that you're thinking like a hope strategist. You want that your final location might be better. As a citizen of the industrialized society, the only benefit of your new physician will be how the female populace views it. You come to understand that the keys to the world are success, fame, and riches. It will be simple for you to win and keep the affection of ladies if you have any or all of these qualities. As a result, since the majority of women provide little value to males, I do not favor partnerships in the dating world. But she will quickly move on to the next man who can support her if you are unable to do so. Why would I urge couples to get together and promote global travel if the woman you end up with can easily disappear from your life? You cannot presume that everyone in your country is like the women you are trying to escape if you ever face difficulties. Remember that you cannot escape social media. As a result, individuals around the world experience the same level of decadence as us and both countries are seeing an increase in the number of single women and men. One could anticipate that their birth rate would be stable given their conservatism and emphasis on family. There are consequently more single men and women than before. For the first time, I realize that China's restrictions on how many children a couple can have are what's causing the country's population growth problems. The current state of the dating environment is not promising. In fact, it will be evident from today's report on the rise of unmarried men and women in China that courtship and marriage are declining. A modern Chinese city's regulations should take into account the growing number of people who live alone. That sounds, if I'm being absolutely honest, like the opening of a horror movie. The maintenance of the family name is prized in traditional Chinese society. As a result, when their kids are ready to get married, parents often get involved. The one-child policy is strengthened and the country vanishes. The age of the singleton has provided a dramatic contrast to this reality. Numerous kids end up disappointing their parents as a result of the recognized trend towards singularism among Chinese youngsters. The term leftover ladies is overused in China's popular culture which has made parents of unmarried women more anxious and put more pressure on their children. I find it fascinating that despite having a family structure and being under pressure to have children, Chinese men and women have trouble getting pregnant. I fail to understand why men injecting gallons of fluid into women and having children would be a problem if there were no media and no desire to destroy families. Since neither I nor anybody I know now resides in China, I could be mistaken about the country's dating environment. The similarities between their problems and those we have in the West are astounding. The younger generation might have been discouraged from beginning families as a result of the one-child restriction. However, 
unless there is a strong need for women in that area, we won't really know. I think people are reluctant to start new romantic relationships because of the status of the economy and rising living expenses. I don't understand how individualism leads to poverty and isolation, though, as a weak society is more vulnerable to oppression. As a result, a resounding majority of votes came from families who have made a point of passing on their wealth from one generation to the next. The wealthy and powerful can ensure the continuation of their wealth and status after their deaths through their families. But because they are driven to act in a negative way toward others, modern women are so self-centered and blind that they will blow up the family, ruin the fortune, and flee with the money. The Bible says that the pursuit of wealth is the source of all evil. The fact that women in the future will continue to file for divorce only for satisfaction serves as a daily reminder that women are the weakest link in any relationship and that any family member could be a wolf in sheep's clothing. Elites will always succeed in their endeavors. Unfortunately, the majority of us have either reached this point or will never have the opportunity to achieve elite rank. As a result of women's inability to commit to a relationship, the proportion of single-member families increased from 4.9% in 1990 to 14.5% in 2010. More than one-third of China's 200 million expected unmarried adults in 2018 live alone, according to a report. Due to the elderly's tendency to live alone, the economy has prospered. The focus of society is currently on the commercial and industrial sectors. Young people are leaving the agricultural workforce in large numbers as a result of the spread of development and economic opportunity. Due to industrialization, internal migration from the countryside to cities has occurred and rural areas have experienced extraordinary urbanization. Younger generations have thus been exposed to novel lifestyles, including delaying marriage, growing their social networks, and starting families as a result of this transformation. The rise in divorce rates that has been seen so far in 2019, without considering the probability that the outbreak was the reason for the spike, I would have predicted a comparable amount for 2020. That's all for today. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you like the videos. See you all next time.